The roots won't remain visible for long after I take the heart. Be quick. Picked and culled. Check what was hiding under that ivy. I need a better angle. There might be a jump to be had up behind the wheel there. We'll have to stop it spinning first.
sound of a corpse cocking its gun. Did we miss a few?
ghost wards I cannot manifest. Watch out! Spectre possession! Divert your focus. The veil shields this one. It's about to shoot! Back down to hell! Spectre, going for a meat suit. Have to hit harder than me. Standing by. I'm with you once more. More efficient than cannon powder. Dear Lord, I need you now. Please, send help. An unnecessary question, perhaps, but uh, is everything all right? No, I'm not all right. There are demons in the mill. This is all Haskell's fault. May his wretched soul rest in peace. His leniency brought the devil on us. The witches will walk the land. But why are you still standing there gawking like a goose? Aren't you a banisher? I told you, there are demons. I, I... Tell me all about these demons and this mill. There is a mill. It is my mill in which I mill flour to bake my bread. In the mill, there are demons sent by the evil one. Oh, all right, all right. No need to be an arse about it. I'll look into it. The, the mill lies past the barren field and across the bridge. Whatever you can do to help, I would be grateful. Will you be all right out here? Will any of us be all right now our governor's gone? Lucy Barrow is dead, and demons walk. God has forsaken us. I'll take that as a maybe. I'm sorry to learn the alewife has died. <laughs> oh, don't be. What happened to her? Dance too close to the devil is what she did. I do not know what happened to her, but her death is not my doing, though it was I who found the body. I shall not miss her. If you will when the ale runs out. You really don't seem to hold her in your heart. The baker and the alewife both need barley. 
we made a bargain, spit in hand and shaken on, to share the crop. But she broke the deal, went her own way, cut me out. No, I did not like her. I should go. As must I, to the hamlet, I think. God walk with you, banisher. Demons and a dead alewife. Haunting case. Haunting case. Something has me. Wards. I don't think so. Something's nearby. Where is it? Do that. Don't you do that. Stop that spectre before it possesses the corpse. I get to do it with the ducks. Marcin Let. <laughs> 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 
Need I was expecting an audience with Legion. Someday, maybe. No bread. Cotton never mentioned that. Quite the botanist. What does a baker need with all these plants? Remember the olive bread with rosemary and sage. <laughs> I miss Rome. I miss bread. This looks like it was ripped from a herbarium. Fetolica decandra. Pokeweed. It's poisonous. I doubt he used it. I hope I'm right. Hard times for Cotto the Baker. Seems Cotto was looking for a substitute for barley. And failing. Looks like Cottle hasn't been able to do his work for quite some time. Sack race? We should go back to the Harrows and talk to him. So a baker is forced out of work, his business partner dies mysteriously, and now the baker is haunted. How bizarre. Still a feel for him. He'll be desperate. From his demeanor, I'd say it's too late. He's a lit fuse on a human powder keg. It might be a random ego's boom. Try this on for size.
Try this on for size. Within gun range, Red. I think we've hit a nerve. Mr. Cotto, are you here? Something's near. Anyone home? <sighs> right, well, what happened here? the spectral web. Why? Mm. Oh, it's a miserable life without bread. Aspen must be the woman Cotto spoke of, the one who trained them. Perhaps he's lonely here, away from his people. Takes dedication to sleep where you work. A lot of poverty. My mother treated a baker once. He had the worst cough I'd ever heard. Turns out inhaling flour all day isn't good for your lungs. Aye, neither of poverty.
Despite the barley shortage, Lucy Barrow was brewing ale. Drove Perry mad. Sent him snooping after her. Why would she not tell him? Food is as important as drink. Do not touch that, you filthy thief! You! Who are you? What are you doing here? Wait. The Banisher McRaith. Haunted by a ghost? You must be joking. Mistress Barrow. Glad to see you, circumstances notwithstanding. This is my partner, Antia Duarte. Yes, yes, pleasure to meet you, but never mind that. Perry Cottle stole the key to my alehouse. You have it. I want it back. Why would Perry Cottle have the key to your alehouse? He wishes to steal my business. So I hid it from him. There's nothing quite like watching a grown man soil his britches over losing a bloody key. Serves him right. The barley failed. No barley means no flour. No flour means no bread. It drove him mad. It made him mean. I don't easily scare, but he scared me. And I was right. In the end, he poisoned me. What's your relation to Perry Cottle? We traded. Pleasantries, foodstuffs. He baked a fine loaf. Mostly we shared the barley crop. I worked with him, now I hate him. When I offered him a fair deal, he threatened me. He omitted to mention this. Allow me a moment in which to come to terms with the news that the liar, Perry Cottle, failed to tell the truth. You know how to brew ale without barley. We know this because Perry Cottle spied you doing it. For a great baker, he makes a piss-weak spy. Why not just tell him what the substitute was? You'd have your ale and he'd have his bread. My hard work rightly deserves payment. My demands were reasonable. I even offered to defer the bill. Everything I have, I earned with the sweat of my brow and the brains in my head, and neither man nor God shall take it from me. Perry Cottle thinks innovation, the fruit of my labor, comes from God to be shared by all but especially by Perry Cottle. I am a woman of enterprise, and no one drinks for free. No payment, no deal. Tell me about the poisoning. To start, let me tell you about the baker Perry Cottle, who is as mean as he is stupid. Mean, for he would not pay me for my work. Stupid, for he poisoned me before he could get his grubby hands on it. Are you sure he poisoned you? We had words. He threatened me. He carried out the threat. It seems cut and dried to me. You don't believe me? See for yourself. You have the key. Go to the alehouse where I died. Where is it? Go north. Across the bridge, past the fallow fields. But do be careful. I hear it's haunted by the ghost of the poor dead alewife. We should go. Can't get a moment's peace, can you? Even dead, there's work to be done. Looks like Perry Cottle left some details out of his story. Let's go to the alehouse.
I always thought I'd be angry too. He says one thing, she says the other. Not to know for sure who's lying. A vengeful ghost is always dangerous. I should know. What is lurking here? Time to work, Banisher. Destroy those ghost wards, if you want me back. This on Incoming. I can manifest now. Lucy's alehouse, I believe. A playground for the devil, according to some. Red, come look. Folk need bread. What do you use in place of the barley? Lucy, Mistress Barrow. Please, I beseech you, tell me. No. Folk must have bread before they have ale. I offered you a fair deal. You're the one who turned it down. Then you leave me no choice. 
I'll have the secret. I'll not let them starve when there's bread to be had. You missed your chance. Now go away. Not the first time we've heard of this deal. Doesn't change the fact that Perry was furious at Lucy's refusal. Enough to kill? Seems unlikely. Keep looking. That's quite the sale. Good thing she had her husband's support. Unmarried alewives don't usually have it so easy. Those concoctions sure are inventive. She knows her trade. I know Brewers. And this one is talented. A book of poisonous plants, with a page torn out. Let me guess. The fight to Lacatecandra page is missing. Lucy Barrow was quite the force of nature. As a widowed alewife amongst witch-hunting Puritans, she'd have to be. Exactly. Well-thumbed books. Lucy Barrow's an educated herbalist. An alewife, fierce and educated. I bet folk were intimidated. And suspicious. We should search the mill. Mistress Barrow is running. This place reminds me of Mother Lawrence's over on Cheapside. And how the old ale wife's doing. I'm sure she'd be glad to see you back on your feet. She was a good friend when I needed one. I'm surprised Perry Cotto found no substitute for Barley. Some men can't think beyond what they already know. But this, I think, is about wounded pride. Look at that. It's the drunkard's jackpot. Don't get excited. Once upon a time, finding this lot would have made my day. Yes, and those orders won't be fulfilled. Unless Perry takes over the brewing. Wouldn't be the first time an ale wife lost her business to a man. Quite the collection. Well labelled too. Lucy Barrows is better organised than my mother. This is the fight to the, the portweed. What's it doing here?
This is our ghost tie, and a memory hangs on it. Reveal your true self. A scale foga smile. Harry Cottle, is that you are creeping once again? You can die first before I give you anything. Rest run, Cottle. I have a stick and I'll not hesitate to use it. She took the vital lacquer instead of the hobs. A sad fate, and a stupid death. Afraid to lose her individuality, she lost everything instead. Without her secret ingredient, I still can't make bread. Harry Cottle, what are you doing in my house, you horrible little man? Dear Lord, what work of the evil one is this? Lucy Barrow, but you're dead. I saw your body in the alehouse. The dead return, and you are most surely a witch. Yes. Oh, this explains everything. Oh, for the love of. God, just stop your nonsense and explain what the hell you were doing in my alehouse. I believe I'm the one who needs answers. Oh, God! Oh, the world is ending, and the Lord must call us to him! What were you doing with porkweed, Lucy, if you knew it was poisonous? I am a herbalist and an alewife. I make things. I have all sorts of poisonous plants. I knew Perry was spying on me, so I led him to believe I was using common weeds in place of barley. I chose pokeweed because it helps women with their monthlies. Twisted and ingenious. I think I like you. Perry Cottle stole from me. He found out about the poisonous plant and killed me. Lucy Barrow, under the pretext of a demand for fair payment, you hoarded a valuable recipe. That's right. You'd have starved us for the sake of your business. You denied the children of God their daily bread. For business, Lucy, for business. Our Lord God called you to give service to his flock, and you demanded payment? Let her speak, Mr. Cotto. If the Lord wished the fruits of my labour, then he should have paid me like anyone else. I worked hard for where I am today. I deserve to succeed. I worked my arse off for it, and you would have me give it away. Not a chance. Go on then, Mr. Cotto. What were you doing in the alehouse when you found Lucy dead? I'd not seen her in a moment. I was checking she was well. You base strain hardy oaf. You'll not have what's mine. You were checking to make sure I was dead. I was doing no such thing. But you were, Mr. Cotto. 
You spent weeks harassing Lucy here for her recipe. You harangued her so much that in a moment of stress, she made a mistake and accidentally poisoned herself. For that, you are responsible. Time to set the top on the right bottle, Cottle, you dundering harasser, you windling failure, you sneaking thief. I... no, I... I, I, I never meant to... I, I am none of those things. She had it coming. Devil worshipper, witch, selfish woman. To work then. Let's do this so it's done. Lucy Barrow, you haunt the baker, Perry Cottle, blaming him for your accidental poisoning. It was no accident. There's much to admire about you, Lucy, but the dead must leave the living alone. I fought for everything I had. I'll fight on. That war is over. Surrender. Win the peace. Life will go on. Give it one last gift before you leave. I... I replaced the barley with oats. I have it in stock. Oats? Oats are for cattle. Oats are for beer. And biscuits. And bread. You made your mark upon the world. Go in peace. You have no more reason to stay. I suppose I must thank you. Now, if you don't mind, I... I have some thinking to do. I think that pricking is my conscience. Have I strayed from the path of our Lord? Well, bugger. Take that to your face. 